wonderful. That has been really good actually. We had a really good time. It's really nice, you know, like, I mean, we thought... Summer camp. Yeah, it is. It's very yeah. All the bands are really cool, you know, like, we kind of thought before we come out, it was going to be a bit daunting that we wouldn't know anybody, and, you know, because, the, I mean, we're English, very China Scottish, and everybody else is American, and it was like, they were sort of quite a rock orientated bill that we wouldn't fit in, but it's been going really brilliant. Everybody's really friendly. We're having, like, a really brilliant time, and it's good finishing at, like, at 2 o'clock, and then being able to enjoy yourself for the rest of the day, you know, we just get a lot of time to hang out. Heard Bell describe you as the band to, uh, what was it, to tame the savage beast, isn't that what he said? Do you feel that that's really your role? I mean, in terms of, like, not taming the savage beast, perhaps, but do you understand the logistics of the lineup in that sense? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I think if the, if the lineup was, like, all the same sort of band, it would be a bit pointless, really. We're, there we are, uh, coming on to tame the savage beast, and then the, the beast gets savage again. <laughs> I think that's why like, Dollar Blues is all about variety, not just having the same kind of band. So I think it's good that you've got like a mixture, you know, like and we're we're not sort of your archetypal rock band, we're more sort of quite nice pop music. <laughs> When you first started getting press in 1989, you became the uh, instant darlings of the British press, which can be a really pr a problem. It can be horrible because what they do is they put you up on a pedestal, which they eventually have to knock you off. Are you getting any backlash now? Is that happening with the uh, album now that it's out and, and you've gone through the darling stage? Are you getting that uh, backlash of criticism? Is that happening at all? Well, we had it. You know, the album came out at the beginning of the year, and then we got our sort of backlash. Come up and it all happened. But then we just went on, we've been on tour ever since like the end of January, so we've been away. So I think they've sort of forgiven us again. We're back in favour, we've become dinosaurs, yeah. but <laughs> we're comfortable dinosaurs. What does that say to you about the press? That it's fickle? That it's Ooh, wet. they're so fickle. Ooh. Like a faithless lover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. They were, they're renowned for it, though, the, I mean, the British music press, especially, like, because there's no, like, radio play. You don't get any ra radio play, so people hear, hear about our kind of bands through the press, you know, and so the press is very influential in making up people's minds for them, you know, so you can break a band. You, someone can think, oh, I'll go and see such and such a band. I've never heard them, but I've read really good things That's about them in the different. paper. So they can, like, really, you know... This is different. I mean, here, like, music press monitors bands, you know, innit? just comments on what's already there like in England the music press are like a bunch of A&R men you know they're just like out to find the next big thing and like put it on the cover before anyone else gets there so which is why you get that kind of darlings of the press thing and then oh we put our money in the wrong sort of horse you know like oh no forget that one next 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 you know? started we couldn't play couldn't sing you know didn't know what we were doing so obviously we had absolutely no confidence in what we were doing and it's it's not that we've become like hugely confident and we're now so proficient at what we do it's just that we've got to the level where most people start off at you know we think oh yeah, actually we're all right you know we're doing all right but live used to be a bit of a disaster initially now it's fun now we actually enjoy it rather than just panic constantly about it but when you say that, when you say that we couldn't play, we couldn't sing, and yet we became so instantly successful, I mean, if I was listening to that and I was somebody who was trying to break into it, that would really piss me off, you know? What is it about you that made it happen? I think it was, I think it was the ideas, you know, there was obviously, you know, we weren't like confident about going on stage and strutting our stuff, but I think maybe people who thought it was all right, it was because the ideas were there and you could see that it wasn't like, 
I mean, the thing is that we did get picked up too early by the British press, so we didn't really have enough time to evolve to a point where we did feel confident about going on stage. So, we, you know, like it's been said like loads of times before, it's like we grew up in public, really, you know. Now we've got to the stage that we feel quite good about what we do, you know. So I think before that, it was like... We had the ideas, but not the execution, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, and I think the records were really good. You know, the records were good, but it wasn't, you know, it was more the, the thing on stage. It's when we were stuck in front of... You know, whether it's sort of 500 Five. people or, yeah, or sort of, you know, like, getting a crowd like this, you know, it was like, we weren't really ready for that, but now we are, you know.